We are here to bless you, young oak tree purposely chosen. You have been planted by the river to prosper and bear fruit. You have been placed in this very spot of the ancient oak who once was known as worshiping. Worshiping oak left behind an indelible legacy. Once a young tree chosen among many whose boughs shaded men and women of faith as they gave thanks and praise to the one who created all things. And it grew strong as the community grew and it was adopted as part of its history and legacy. Worshiping Oak became the place where people dream dreams of a future with hope and blessings, where values, ideas, and achievements were realized, even in the midst of trial and tribulation. Even as the accretion of time faded memories of its purpose, its branches still danced a multitude of dances with the wind, and it continued to furl its leaves countless times with the coming rain. And deep did its roots grow, even as the community's presence grew deep and wide. For before 1640, till its dying day on April 26, 2017, it witnessed all the ebbs and flows of life on the river, of war and famine, of epidemic and good health, of depression and affluence, of fire and flood, and glimpses of renewal. A chosen and dedicated guardian of grace and peace, of joy and wonder for hundreds of years. Its life preserved by people who remembered its purpose, an emblem of respect and adoration. And in the twilight of its life, it had one last mission, one last moment of hearing the joyful sounds of people singing sweet songs of worship to the one who created all things on Easter Sunday, 2015. You, little one, have been purposely chosen, handpicked to take on the mantle of the ancient one's vocation. And now, from this day forth, your name will be Worshiping Oak of Haverhill, a giver of blessings, grace, and healings. We choose you, and like a phoenix, you rise from the ashes of your ancestor. We dedicate you as a guardian of grace and peace, of joy and wonder, and ask God to bless you with good health and prosperity. Worshiping Oak, may your roots grow down and hold fast the soil of life that surrounds you. May your trunk affirm the strength and character of your being. May your leaves that come in spring share breath with us through summer warmth. As you prepare for winter slumber and respite, may the color of your leaves burst forth with splendor and might. When fall comes, may they blanket the ground and reunite with the earth, transforming under the winter snows to bless future seasons. We ask the holy and anointed one to bless you with abundance so your acorns feed hunger, your leaves and your branches provide shelter for the birds of the air and the mammals who know you as sanctuary, as home. May you be known in your purpose. May your presence be our teacher and guide in the reality of our belonging, our need for each other. Quiet in your growth and as breezes meander through your boughs, May you cause us to look up and pause and feel the sun's warmth, experience gentle reminders of the power of being present, awake and aware of life, of breath, of being. Today we look to you not as you are, but as you shall be, a mighty oak forever reminding us of a future with hope. From now until the end of your days, we invite you to step into your purpose and take the name Worshiping Oak. For this day forth, you will be cared for and we will honor you. Today we dedicate and consecrate you, Worshiping Oak. Today we wish you long life, prosperity, health, and abundance. Today you are commissioned to be pastor of this land, 
listener and giver of life, of all things created and all things in your care. May you become an ancient wise sentinel who calls us back to our roots and our purpose. And in the name of those people who founded Haverhill, the many people who immigrated here to build boats and make shoes, to work in the mills and factories, and to dream dreams of a new Haverhill. And most of all, in the name of the one continually reminding us of our interconnectedness and our belonging, we bless you, we bless you, we bless you. Amen and blessed be.